This is week four of the England Hockey Men's Premier Division Highlights Package. I'm Simon Mason and here is the best of the action. Beeston entertained old Georgians, Georgians sporting their bright pink strip for the charity Breast Cancer. Footage of this one comes from BTV. Just waiting for Beeston to settle on the line. Are we going to see a routine or are we going to see power from old Georgians? Oh, neither is the result. It has been oh. turned in though and it's uh, early goal for the champions. Well, they didn't trap it exactly very well and um, but the second phase hit was deflected, I think. And um, Beeston ball, that's chaotic at the back. Yeah, you, <laughs> you've really got to make sure that you get these. You're in knowledge of where the players are. Look how that's been taken off Samapula. Pujwant leaves an open goal and that's been turned in. Tackled slightly later point in the phase. Throwing that ball in the air. Terrific delivery. The shot coming, and that's being turned in for the third. Ashley Jackson just uh, taking his time. Ashley Jackson, though, I think uh, most people know that he plays ice hockey as well. Yes. Is there a difference to his skills with the stick that's noticeable for <laughs> someone who's been watching hockey more often? Well, I think it. There's oh. the turned in. Yeah. And that's Sam, Sam Ward, Ward again. Just excited, but OGs are prepared to throw that ball into the D, expecting forwards to lead. Um, sometimes they're not necessarily visible at the time the pass is made. They expect their players to get on the end of the pass anyway. James Tyndall. Oh. That's been turned in, and that was an easy finish. However... Well, James Hunt feels that he's not, to, not even restarted that. And um, Next, we have another live streamed match at East Grinstead for the visit of Hampstead and Westminster. Leave the uh, leave it open to interpretation a little bit more than it is a black and white rule. That's a great ball into the circle, and it's a goal from Johnny Fleck. That is a fantastic finish, sliding on his reverse. It's been a fantastic game, end to end here from both teams. Both teams threatening the circle. Both both teams pressing, starting to press a little bit higher up the pitch, and Hampstead win the ball here. Can they go through? Rupert breaking around on the left-hand side. Plays it in. Can he score on the reverse here? He does. That's a fantastic finish. That is a fantastic finish on the on the reverse there. From Rupert Schipperle. Here we go. They set up. Third goal at the short corner here. Objective. Goes to that second cast of demise. Guys Brown again. And he scores. Absolutely playing the ball around. They've managed to break the EG press here. And Schipperle. Found the ball on the, oh, to the right side, fine into the circle. That's a good save. Falls to an Hampton whistle. It's the player who rolls it into an empty net. And you've got to question where is our defenders there? Where is the goalkeeper? The University of Exeter took a 10th minute lead away at Wimbledon thanks to Jacob Payton. Early in the second quarter, Liam Ansell levelled the scores. That was before an Ed Haller penalty corner put Wimbledon ahead at half time. In the second half, goals from Ben Hooper and Ben Francis gave Wimbledon a comfortable three points in the end. Surbiton travelled up to Brooklyn's Manchester University and took the lead in the 20th minute thanks to Louis Gittens. David Flanagan equalised six minutes later to make it level at half time. Gareth Furlong and another for Gittens appeared to put Surbiton on course for a comfortable victory. But Stefan Ray Hill scored to pull it back to 3 2. Furlong though added another penalty corner goal to restore the two goal lead. Dan Vincent, however, scored for the home side to make it a nervous final 13 minutes for the visitors. But Surbiton held on for all three points. Reading and Holcomb played out an absolute thriller at Sonning Lane, with the visitors coming out on top by five goals to four. The final match of the weekend saw the first nil-nil draw in the men's Premier Division since November 2018, as Oxted were held at home by the University of Nottingham. Yeah.